Hi, this is Carrie with Southern Sass Final. Uh, today is another quick maintenance video for the XP15000. Uh, this is to help clean your, your rollers, your paper feed rollers. Um, so let's get started. So I've already done my printing for the day and I've already done uh, my normal maintenance, which is to, of course, put the, um, to clean out the little ink slots and I've got that taped down so I'm not going to mess with that and put the little uh, paper towel with the damp dampen with the uh, cleaner on it and the napkin underneath the print head all right so I'm going to close this up it is off and unplugged so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to tape this down because we don't want it moving around and then we're going to tape the um, back paper tray because we don't want it flopping around either. Alright. If you have the external uh, waste tank like I do, you're going to have to be careful so that you don't yank the line out of your waste tank and get ink everywhere. So the next thing is we're going to take out the bottom paper tray to slide it completely out and set it to the side. And then, I'm going to try to do this without hitting y'all. You're just going to take your printer. And you're going to gently set it up like this. Okay. Alright. I'm going to try to move y'all in closer so y'all can see. Alright, so this right here is your paper rollers right here. And this right here just kind of comes out just a little bit. Don't force it, just a little bit. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're just going to get a paper towel. Kind of fold it up a couple of times. I just, I rip it in half because you don't, you don't need a whole one. And you're just going to kind of pull this out just very gently. And you're going to slide a paper towel kind of back behind this, like that. Okay? Next thing you need is your alcohol. I just used the 70%. That's what I have. And a swab. And you're just going to dampen your swab. If you get too much, it's okay. Just squeeze it back into the container. You just want it dampened. Okay. And these right here, the rollers, if you watch, kind of pull them out just a touch, they roll downwards. Sorry. And both of them roll at the same time. So you're just going to get your, your um, cotton swab that is dampened with um, the alcohol and you're going to just clean. Make sure that you go in all directions and you may want to get your finger and hold the roller from behind. Remember not to pull out a whole lot, just kind of get your finger and rest it in there. And we're just going to clean all the sides and we're going to kind of go in all directions when you're ready. Roll it and do the next part. Okay, when you're done with that, that's where this paper towel comes into play. It doesn't matter that it fell out right now. We're just going to let that sit for just a minute and kind of dry. Um, the higher percentage of alcohol that you get, the faster it dries. Um, I do recommend trying to get like the 90%. When I went to the dollar store, all they had was the 70%, so that's what I got. Okay. So now just get your paper towel. And you're just going to kind of push downwards. And you're just going to try to get some of that alcohol off. Alright. Next part going to need some blue painter's tape, frog tape, something like that. You want something that pulls clean and doesn't leave residue. And just get a little piece of it. 
again, pull this out gently. And just kind of, and pull it off. Do this a couple of times. And pull it off. And that's going to pull any um, residue or any dust or anything that's on it, it's going to pull it off. Okay? So you're done with that side. So you're going to gently lay down your printer. Oops. You should tape this down too. Haha, <laughs> sorry, I forgot. There we go. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to untape this. This is your feed roller, or your feed tray, I'm sorry. Take it out. Alright, so you want to be careful and try not to mess with these. These are your sensors. And I have tried covering these with tape to prevent... Oh, hang on. Let me readjust y'all again, sorry. There we go. Alright, so these are here. These are your sensors. You don't really want to mess with them. Um, I've tried covering them with tape to see if it would help with the uh, film issues. It doesn't, and in fact it makes it worse because then it just starts reading that there's no paper in there. So, hopefully this will help y'all. Uh, making sure that y'all clean these. I have started doing this every evening. Um, it's just part of my maintenance routine, and it has helped a lot um, with removing the... the residue from the film off of the rollers and it, it's helped a lot with the picking up the film all right so this one here is kind of the same thing it rolls this way it rolls so if you had the the thing in it would be like this it rolls down okay so i just take it from the bottom and i clean it and you're just doing the exact same thing you're just going to go back and forth trying not to get the alcohol on that sensor I don't know if it would hurt it or not. I'm just not taking any chances. Okay. And we're just going to keep going with it. I don't know if y'all can see. I'm going to turn this the other way. I'm not sure if the phone is going to pick up. But you can definitely see the residue on this feed roller versus when it gets cleaned off. And you're just going to want to kind of do both both directions and back and forth. And just roll it down. Okay, and I recommend doing this at night as part of your maintenance. Um, that way you can just let everything dry before you put it all back together. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I did earlier. On the other side, I'm just going to take my paper towel. I think I'm going to kind of hold my paper towel right there and just use. And you're not like really pressing down, like you're just kind of holding it basically. It's just letting it run across it and trying to soak some of that alcohol up. Like I said, if you're using the higher, the higher percentage alcohol, then you won't even have to do this part because it'll dry really fast. All right, and then we're gonna go back with that piece of tape again, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna kind of stick it and pull, and this will help get any any dust or any residue off of the wheel. And just kind of stick and pull and roll. And that's it. Now I'm just going to let this sit and dry um, overnight. And when I come in in the morning, I'll put everything, uh, I'll put this back in the back and put the regular um, feed tray in, or sorry, paper tray in, and it'll be good to go. Hopefully that helps y'all um, alleviate at least some of the, the feed, film feed issues. Um, as everybody knows, the XP 15,000 and Acarip have some issues working together. Um, I have tried that somebody had sent me a video about uninstalling some Windows update 
and that that was what was causing the issue. I did that and I saw no improvement. Um, so maybe that'll work for y'all, but it didn't for me. Honestly, I've been one of the lucky ones. Um, I don't have a whole lot of issues with Acarip and the, the XP15000. Um, it does do some of the film feed issues, but most of the time it starts out during the day doing doing okay um, with just an occasional misfeed. Um, usually in the in the evening after I've been printing all day as that um, as that powder off that off the film starts kind of building up on the rollers, I start having more issues. And usually by evening, uh, I'm done with it and I'm ready to throw the printer out the window. Um, and then, like I said, once I clean it the next morning, it's good to go again. So I don't really think you can blame that on the printer itself or Acarib. I mean, it's just the nature of the beast is you're just going to have to um, to clean these. And so I'm going to start doing a, a, a uh, kind of a mini clean in the middle of the day when I take my lunch break. I usually, I usually stop for 30 minutes or so and eat. So I'm just going to go ahead and start start um, cleaning these rollers off with the with the alcohol when I do that, and see if that helps and makes it last. You know, make it the film issues kind of go away for me. And so I just wanted to share this little tip with y'all, and hopefully it helps y'all also. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at sassyvinylhtv at gmail.com or via my website at southernsassvinyl.com. Thank you.